Hello everybody. In this video we're going to take a look at some of the uh, new layout capabilities that are in uh, Release 9. Release 9 is evolving very rapidly. It's adding uh, a few hundred features per uh, per month actually. So uh, to keep track of, uh, keep up with everything that's going on, you really should be using one of the uh, Release 9 Edge builds. Edge builds are cutting edge builds that show the latest and greatest features. And typically about once a month or so uh, we uh, issue a new uh, uh, standard release that you, that's, that's not considered an edge build. Anyway, we're looking at a Release 9 project, and uh, uh, what we have here is a layout. We can uh, open and close the layout. It's, uh, it has elements from this uh, Mexico drawing here and from uh, this drawing of France. And let's take a look at a few new things that we can do in uh, layouts in Release 9 that we couldn't do in Manifold Future, Radiant Studio, things like that. Uh, the first is that when we uh, select uh, uh, Alt-click a uh, frame. I just Alt-clicked on this frame right here. It opens up the uh, record uh, uh, panel of the contents pane, uh, prepositioned to style. We can uh, change the uh, dimensions of this, and then automatically we'll change the numbers uh, right here, which give the dimensions. And uh, we can change those from millimeters to inches to points, however we like to read those. Uh, we can change the background color, for example. Let's uh, change the uh, background color. First, I want to make sure I s that's in the custom color so we can go back to it. Uh, let's change the background color to uh, transparent. Click up, update record, and there it is. Or we can change it to this. Click update record. Or we can change it back to uh, the custom color that we saved earlier. And uh, there it is right there. Uh, we can uh, conveniently order and uh, delete frames by uh, using the uh, layers pane of the contents pane. We have uh, the focus on the layout, the uh, layers pane panel in the contents pane uh, shows all the different uh, layers that we're working on. If we want to see which ones are which, we can select them. For example, control click on this to uh, select France. And you can see that red outline pops on that, along that frame. So we can see that's that one there. We can control click here on the Mexico one. And that uh, puts an outline there too. We now have two frames selected in the layout. And just like uh, layers in a drawing, whatever we uh, do here applies to all this, to the entire selection set. So we can move these things up. We can turn these things on and off. Uh, we can uh, turn the uh, opacity up and down, so let's make these both 50% opaque. Uh, and now when we uh, do things like, uh, I'm going to control shift A to deselect everything. Now when I do something like select this for editing, you can see that it's uh, semi-transparent. And if we like, we can just uh, control click on this like that. And here in the layers pane, let's move France down below the other layers. Uh, control shift all to deselect everything. So there you go. You can see how we can, uh, we now have the ability to manipulate opacity in layer panes and layer uh, in, in, uh, frames that are used in uh, layouts. We have the ability to uh, move them around. Uh, we can, uh, let's change the opacity of Mexico back up to 100% here. Uh, we can manipulate uh, uh, what's going on here uh, in the layers planes in terms of uh, you know what the Z order is, how they're shown above or below each other. And uh, here, if we like, we can do things like uh, select multiple frames at the same time. Control click to select that one. Control click to select this one. And now if I alt click on this one to select it for editing, if I move this one, it moves all the selected frames with it as well. Notice how when I'm moving the one selected frame, the other selected frame, uh, which is also selected, is moving as well. That's a pretty cool deal. Uh, uh, what we see right here, which, may be, which you may find of interest, is a text frame. Text frames are new. So if we want to add a uh, text frame, what we do is we click on this tool right here, and then we click approximately where we want that text frame to be. And the text frame opens up. Uh, it opens up automatically, switches to the uh, record, pane, record panel and the, control and the contents pane, set to the Style tab, so we can... Uh, uh, manipulate various elements of the text. For example, we can change this to, let's make this uh, Mexico, M-E-X-I-C-O. I don't want that in all caps. M-E-X-I-C-O. There you go, that's better. Click Update Record, and that updates the text. If we want to change the point size, we can change it to say, let's make it 36 points. Update text. I can uh, click back here on the regular default cursor and now manipulate the uh, edit handles to uh, move around, move that box around. Uh, so if I want to do things like uh, change the uh, font, we can do that. Let's change the font to, uh, well, any of the standard default Windows fonts. For example, this Tahoma, which is what it's, 
which was using right now. Let's change that to uh, Times New Roman. Or if we like, we can go to fully custom font. Mm, let's pick something funky here. How about a stencil? And we'll make it a stencil bold. Okay, click update record, and there it is. Uh, let's make it even bigger. Let's make it 40 points. And if we like, we can change the uh, style here. So uh, foreground color of uh, black, background color of, let's make that white. And let's change, make the style somewhat like that. There. Uh, so there's many ways we can play with this. We can uh, edit the box in which it is located. We can uh, change the background of it. So let's change the background to say, oh, let's make it this color green. Uh, so that enables us to uh, change and to reposition uh, labels as we see fit. And whichever label that we click, Alt-click, it will automatically show the characteristics for the formatting of that uh, label box uh, here in the uh, record pane. In general, that's, that's one of the new things that, that exists in Release 9, where we have uh, very fine control over uh, a lot of what the frames are by uh, having a style panel. And why is the style panel main empty here? Because there's going to be a lot more things that are added. For example, we want to have control over the borders and uh, different styles for borders and things like that that we might want to have in, in panes. So there you go. That's a first look at uh, uh, some of the things that are in the le in layouts in Release 9 where we can uh, select and uh, manipulate various uh, frames either all together as part of the selection uh, using the layers pane, uh, changing transparency, changing uh, opacity, turning them on and off, changing the Z order. Uh, if you want to delete something, easy to do. We just uh, click right there and there we just deleted that frame uh, so uh, all this and there's many many more things coming in the way so to uh, so stay tuned to all those cutting edge builds so you get the latest and greatest features as they come out thanks for watching and goodbye from manifold release 9 land well that was fun uh, if you want to see more visit us at www.manifold.net as always, Manifold delivers the world's most advanced, highest quality spatial products for GIS and DBMS at a low price that you can afford. Once again, that's uh, Manifold.net. See you soon.